You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hello, friends. I have another great show for you today. I hope you are all staying safe out there. And if you like the show, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CNA TV, please do so as a favor to us. Oh, the Ozarks. The boundaries are formed by five major rivers. The Mississippi, the Osage, Missouri, the Neosho, and the Arkansas. There are more free-flowing streams here than anywhere else in the United States. If you can't load up and come here, then come. Take the journey with me. How often I think back over time. Time that has passed into the vast river of no return. I move slower now. The oil of my youth is drying up. I know all the old tales. The face is long gone that I miss. Loved ones that lived, fought, loved, died, sought God, and found Him or not, dreamed of justice and knew injustice. To all those whose inner being seems empty, I recommend a solitary walk in the forest. The light shifts as it does in the forest, making hazy pillars, sky of indigo, of velvet. There are weavers at work stitching the night into a tapestry. Friends, on my shows you have heard me talk about the real heroes of life not the ones that get the headlines every day. And I have the feeling that most real heroes are never noticed. Not for them the fanfare and the accolades of a grateful public. Not for them the scrolls and medals, trophies of society's gratitude. The real heroes are the mothers and fathers of all of us. It seems a part of the human riddle that we never appreciate what we can take for granted. Our parents are just there for those times when we need them. Although the years of unremitting toil took their toll on parents and grandparents. Those years also made them durable. Growing up in the Depression taught my parents and grandparents a lot about eating from nature's supermarket. But Nagi always ate good because Nagi's mom was the best cook in the world. Nagi's mom, a Naka contributor, had a reputation of empty cabinet, empty fridge, and yet she could cover the table with a poor man's banquet. She cooked for the loves of her life. She took nature's supermarket and cooked to make it taste good. She became famous for it. She became the best cook in the world. She didn't need cookbooks. The people that taught her the secrets of Southern cooking are all gone now. She always put good food on Nagi's plate, poke salad, Hot buttered biscuits with pear preserves. Oh boy, 
white milk and gravy, blackberries, dusted with sugar for a snack. Mm-mm. Pan-fried chicken so crisp and thin, deep-fried crappie, and hush puppies with green onion, seasoned pinto beans with crackling cornbread, spiked collard greens with cane sugar, simmered chicken and dumplings, she fried thin apple pies in white butter and cinnamon. She crafted blackberry, peach, apple, and cherry cobblers and banana puddings. Mm-mm. And all of this and a Naka contributor because she knew we do ourselves the most good doing something for others. Now you see why she was Nagi's hero. Each person does well to perform the task for which nature and training have fitted them. One star does not ask another to adore it or amuse it. Nature does not trouble itself about what the rest of nature is doing. People lack nature's inward quietude, calmness, and peace come by being self-contained like unsung heroes. Friends, I've run out of time and sorry this show didn't have a rhyme. But you know it's time to feed my loving pups I greatly need. <laughs> so I'll get some chow for Bubba and Cora May and see you all on another day. Many things will catch your eye, but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. As always, you can catch me on Twitter at JohnWilford47. Until next time, this is John Willard from the phone. <laughs>